Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting, and it is pay dirt review time again. And I am continuing this month's series where I am going through some of the biggest bags of pay dirt I can possibly find, or in this case, bucket, to see if I can find some good ROIs and a lot of fun. Now for today's video, we're going to be going through Lynch Mining's Vulture Bucket, and I'm gonna be really curious to see how it does. Now, one of the things I've been doing in these new videos for just these reviews for this month is I've been calculating the gold per pound. So what do you think the gold per pound is gonna be in the Vulture Bucket? I've already done two reviews this month, and this one is almost twice as much cost-wise as those buckets were. So does that mean my gold per pound is gonna be double? What do you think? Well, the only way to find out is to go classify this down and pan it out, but unfortunately, like in other reviews this month so far, this pay dirt is wet. So I'm gonna go dry it up, and then we're gonna be right back. But first, here's the description. So as you saw, pretty decent description. It could use a lot more information, of course, but it does tell you where this is from, how much the pay dirt weighs, that you will find gold and in what ranges, as well as how much hematite or magnetite to expect in this bucket. But first, let's just weigh it up. It is supposed to be 18 to 20 pounds worth of material. Now this bucket weighs exactly 12 ounces. I weighed the bucket by itself while I was drying out the pay dirt. So we will subtract 12 ounces from this weight. Make sure you can see it. 17 pounds, 10 ounces, means this pay dirt is 16 pounds, 14 ounces. I'm gonna short a pound of material, pound and two ounces to be exact. There is some really big rocks in this material when I was drying it, but again, it is unclassified material. So let's just go classify it down. I'm gonna let you listen to some music and we're gonna classify it. Okay, finish classifying everything down. And as you can see, there's less in the minus 40 than anything else. All of the other ones are pretty equal. Maybe a little bit more here than there, but these three are pretty equal with the least amount being in the minus 40. But I will say I have panned out a lot of Lynch Mining pay dirt, and they typically don't have a lot of really fine gold. Usually anything you do find in the minus 40 is pretty much minus 40 gold. I've never really found any minus 100, 200, 300, or 400. So it usually is pretty easy to pan, but let's just see how much magnetite is in here. Looks like a good little bit. I mean, there is a fair amount in here and that's just touching the surface. I mean, there is definitely a lot of magnetite in here. Not sure if it's going to be the 15% mark, but there definitely is a bit in here. So you know you're going to be playing with some magnetite. But again, as I said, I've never really found winch mining to be really difficult pay dirt to pan through. But only way to really find out is to actually pan it out. So I'm going to go set up some water and we're going to pan all this pay dirt out. 
So I have my water all set up, have some of my pay dirt here, and let's just start going through the plus 10 and see what kind of gold we find.
Well, finish painting out all that painter as you saw, and it was pretty easy stuff to go through. It did have a little bit of organics, and it did muck up the water just a little bit, but not too bad. Not so bad that you couldn't paint it out. The organics were a little bit of a pain, but I don't change the score because of organics. But it was pretty clean painter to go through, pretty easy as well. The one thing about lynch mining painter is the vast majority of it is pretty easy to go through. The one difficulty with it is the actual gold itself. Lynch mining Paydirt's gold tends to be either really flat or really round. And the flat gold tends to not want to sink to the bottom of the Paydirt and it tends to want to just skim off the top of your pan while the round stuff wants to roll out of your pan. So that is a little bit of a challenge. But other than that, the gold is usually really, really bright. There's not a ton of black sands, and it's usually pretty easy. But let's get to the gold I found in the plus 10. I did find that one little picker, and this is a really nice looking picker. I'll see if I can get a little better picture of it. It's not as flat. Usually a lot of bigger pieces of gold tend to be really rounded and smooth with no real texture. This one is actually really cool looking. Now in the minus 10 plus 20, I found even more gold, a nice little pile, probably close to 40 to 50 pieces in there. So I was really happy with that. I have to say out of all the pans I did, only two of the pans did not have gold in them. All the rest had either one or two pieces in it. So it was pretty nice. In the minus 20 plus 40, even more gold, probably 30 to 40 pieces in there. And again, every pan almost had at least one or two little pieces in it. I believe only one pan had no gold in it whatsoever when I was panning it out. And lastly, the minus 40 eh, eh, was a dud. No gold, not even one little fleck. So that was a little disappointing. I was hoping to find at least one or two little pieces in there. But Lynch Mining is not known for its minus 40 gold. So let's just start weighing this up in the plus 10. Zero point four zero five. Nice little piece there. In the minus ten plus twenty. Zero point seven five zero. In the minus twenty plus forty. Zero point three nine five. Let's just weigh it all up and see what we get. So there you go, 1.560 grams. And I'm going to be right back with my ROI and my review. All right, finished calculating my ROI, writing up my review, and let's get right to it. This again was from Lynch Mining. It was their unclassified vulture bucket. It had no guaranteed set amount of gold, but it was guaranteed to have gold. Its cost was $83.20. Shipping, which was on sale, was $14.50, making my total cost right here $97.20. Now I will say I just looked and the bucket's price is now $87.20 and of course shipping is now $45. Now gold recovered right here 1.560 grams of gold. Gold spot on the day this was received was $53.36 making this gold's value worth $83.24, which makes my ROI an 85.63%, or on my scale, an 8.6. Now, I will say a little bit more about the gold recovered as well as the ROI. I recently did a unclassified Belmont bucket off camera with just me and my kids, and I only recovered 1.19 grams out of it. And I've seen a couple other reviews and heard from other people as well. And these buckets tend to be around 1.1 to 1.7 or 8. 
grams of gold in them, but I think it really depends on what you find in the plus 10. In the Belmont bucket, I did not find anything in the plus 10. In this one, I did find that one nice picker in the plus 10. So I think that is the big variant in a lot of these buckets is if you find something in the plus 10. Generally, all the minus 10 tends to be the same in these buckets. So you really want to hope that you get one of the buckets that's got a nice plus 10 piece in it. Now for the ROI, I am also going to tell you my ROI if I would have paid full price for this pay dirt with shipping. So if I would have paid $83.20 plus $45 shipping, my total cost would have been $128.20, which would have made <clears throat> which would have made this ROI 64.93% or on my scale a 6.5. So full shipping ROI 6.5 with these discounted on sale shipping it was an 8.6. So this is a real good thing to look for when you're going with Lynch Mining. I know they have some very high prices on shipping so you definitely want to hope and find them when they're shipping much cheaper. Now let's get back to the review for fun factor I'm going to give it an 8.5. I just dropped it down just a little bit from the 8.6 ROI just because there was really nothing in the minus 40. But it was still fun painter to go through. There was a lot of it. It took me a very long time to go through. So an 8.5 for fun factor. Now for painter description, I'm just going to give them the standard six. They didn't go out of their way to put a ton of detail in there. So six for painter description. For quantity and packaging, they're getting a 9. 10 for packaging because they really do package these buckets really well. I've never seen one damaged. I've never heard of one being damaged. So really good packaging on that. For quantity, they're only getting an 8 because it was under the stated weight in their description. So for pay dirt quantity and packaging, they're getting a 9. Now for customer service and shipping, they're getting a 10 on both. The customer service was really good. I emailed them from another dummy account to ask them about the shipping after the sale ended to see if I could get the discounted shipping and they wouldn't fly for that, but they did respond really quickly. For shipping, they shipped it out within three days. I was really happy on both of those. So for customer service and shipping, they're getting a 10. So total score right here for Lynch Mining's unclassified vulture bucket is going to be an 8.4. Now if I'd have paid full price for the shipping, total score would have been a 7.6. So, and that would have taken into effect not only my ROI being a 6.5, but my fun factor dropping all the way down to 6.5 as well. So pretty good score. I'm happy with either of those, a 7.6 or an 8.4. Of course, I prefer the 8.4 because that means I got more of my money back. But either score is pretty good because it's a lot of dirt to go through. So now for my new criteria, gold per pound. This originally weighed 16 pounds and 14 ounces, and I recovered 1.560 grams of gold, which would make my gold per pound 0.092 grams per pound. And that's not too bad. So far, that's the best I've gotten. I had a 0.03 and a 0.06, and now I'm at a 0.09. So nice to see those gold per pounds going up in each video. I did pay $30 more for this bucket than I did in the previous two reviews, but I'm pretty happy with a 0.092 and an 8.4 score. So all that's left is to flash up that score and give away a 24 karat gold plated dime. So let's just flash up the score right here. Now, before I give away today's 24 karat gold plated dime, I do need to give a shout out to one of my newest Patreon members, and that's Teresa Chenoweth. Now, I hope I didn't butcher up your last name, Teresa, but I do want to thank you very much for joining my Patreon page. And if anyone else wants to check out my Patreon page, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Miller Prospecting. And now for today's 24 karat gold plated dime winner, that's going to go to GS Prospecting. So GS Prospecting, make sure you email me so I can send this off to you. And to everyone else, thanks for watching. Happy panning. And make sure you hit the subscribe button below.